Thank you everyone for joining today. My name is Tim Corey. I'm the manager of Medicare Healthcare Improvement and we're very happy to have you here all today. Uh, just a reminder that today's event is designed for individual Medicare Advantage members, meaning that if you receive your Medicare coverage through a current or through a former employer, you're of course welcome to listen uh, today, but the benefits that are discussed might not apply to your specific employer's plan. You'll notice that your mics are muted and cameras are off. We will have two opportunities for questions, first in the middle of the presentation, and then again at, at the end of the presentation. If you have questions, please put them in the Q&A and our moderators will review them to potentially be answered during one of those two Q&A sections. And uh, if you're asking questions, just please be careful not to include any personal information. If we don't get to any, if we don't get to your questions, you can request additional support in a post event survey that we'll be sending out. And also you can always call customer care to get any of your questions answered. The number to reach them is on the back of your member ID card. Finally, the session will be recorded and available on our YouTube channel in early March for you to view at a future time and use as a, a reference. Um, okay, so now I'd like to introduce our speakers. First off, we have Michelle Richen. She is a Medicare consultant for Western New York in Chautauqua and Allegheny counties. She resides in Lancaster with her two successful children. She loves all outdoor activities and donates a lot of her time to several community organizations, including Hearts for the Ho Homeless and Hospice for nearly 20 years. She's been with Univera Healthcare for going on 14 years now. Next, we have Mike Montgomery. He is also a Univera Medicare consultant for Western New York, and he has been for seven years. He's a lifelong resident of Western New York and resides in Amherst with his wife, Michelle, where they enjoy golf and spending time with their family and friends. They have three grandsons, age eight, six, and a newborn who is particularly good at bringing smiles to their faces. And then finally, we have Dr. Anke Garg. He is a practicing internist and our vice president of medical affairs. He's been with us for two years and resides with his wife and two children in Pittsburgh. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Michelle and Mike. Thanks, Tim. Um, I want to just again say thank you to everyone that took the time today to uh, kind of log into this and hear this message. Um, it's really kind of a two wrong approach, if you will. Uh, the purpose really is just to kind of more or less remind you of some of the benefits that are available in all of our Medicare Advantage plans, as well as kind of a quick brief preview of Medicare, how it works, different parts. Um, but really, um, my takeaway from it really is just to remind people that we're here. Um, you know, we say that you see our new tagline um, all the time on TV commercials, but we mean it. It's not just during our annual uh, election period down, you know, from uh, October 15th to December 7th, but it's year round. So if you have a concern, a question, you need a new provider, you need to find a dentist, uh, you know, whatever those circumstances might be, you can either call the customer service number on the back of your ID card or you can come right into 205 Park Club Lane, which is where our resource center is located. Uh, a lot of times Michelle and I will be actually be in the building as well, unless we have an event or some appointments, but there are people here. So if you want to sit down face to face to speak with somebody, I encourage you to kind of remember that as well. I think that's a huge advantage for, uh, for a lot of people. So as a quick reminder, uh, you know, if you uh, sat through one of our seminars in the past, uh, because there's a likelihood that some of the folks that are on the call today uh, were either uh, signed uh, uh, up by myself or Michelle or one of our broker uh, partners. So um, this might seem familiar, uh, but we're going to try to get through it pretty quick. Uh, this is just the first slide, just as a reminder that we're actually here in the in the area as well. We live here, we work here. Uh, we have about 500 plus employees here at Univera. Uh, what you'll see too is you'll see sometimes on uh, newspaper articles or on news blasts and stuff where you'll see a bunch of people walking around with that wonderful green Univera shirt um, and they might be uh, uh, volunteering for things like Feed More of Western New York or Backpack for Kids or 
Habitat for human Humanity. And we mention this only because of the fact that we want people to understand that we get it. We're here. We're, we're the same as you guys are. You know, we just happen to work for Univera, right? So we're very proud of that. The next slide is really going to talk about the network. Uh, we mentioned this too because I think if you've sat through one of these before the, our seminars, you'll note that um, we always mention that you have to live in one of the eight counties of Western New York. However, our network, it borders on the six counties in Rochester and five in Northern Pennsylvania. Uh, the reason we mention this is because of the fact that as you can see on the slide, you know, uh, we have 100% of the hospitals in the area. So Roswell Park, ECMC, Kaleida Health, Catholic Health, they're all in our system. But again, if you needed surgery and the best surgeon that you uh, could find to do to perform whatever that surgery might be is at Strong Memorial in Rochester, that's included in our network. And for those folks that might be on the call today that live down in the southern tier, the Allegheny, Chautauqua, Cattaraugus County, you know, it kind of bleeds into those five counties and in, into northern Pennsylvania. So in Erie, Pennsylvania, as an example, St. Vincent Medical Center, Warren, Pennsylvania has Warren General Hospital, Potter County has Charles Cole Memorial. So there's about 19 in total. Uh, so it's a pretty robust network. Um, and again, you know, I, I always ask that question or when people come in to see us is you want to make sure that your doctors are in our network uh, and we are pretty uh, assured that, uh, that in most cases that's truly the case. The next slide is really just kind of a reiteration of, of what Medicare is. There are basically four parts to it. Part A, Part B, Part C, and Part D. And briefly, Part A is your hospital coverage, your surgeries, hospice is included under Part A. Uh, there is usually not a premium that's associated with it, uh, but there is a deductible and then coinsurance. And we'll get into that more deeply in another slide or two. But the way it works is um, uh, there is that deductible this year in 2024, that deductible is $1,632. So if you were to go into the hospital with just part A and B um, as this example, uh, you pay the first $1,632 as a deductible, and then you're paying 20% coinsurance on the other 98, roughly $98,000. The problem with part A and B just by themselves is the fact that there is no cap on the out-of-pocket spend. So with part B, there is a premium. Um, depending on what your situation is, the premium this year is $174.70, and that comes right out of your social security check that you receive every month if however you're not taking your social security what they'll do is they will bill you on a quarterly basis so the part b premium 174.70 that goes to the federal government uh, and then what you're looking at is a 240 dollars deductible for that and then again the 20 percent coinsurance so again with no cap on it so the, the the thing here is what most people do is they and i hope probably everybody on this call has done this, is they look at going into a Part C plan, which is what a Medicare Advantage plan is called. This is where the same benefits that you're going to receive on Part A and B are covered. In addition, of the seven plans that we offer, six of them have automatically built in Part D, which is your prescription drug coverage. We're not going to go into that prescription drug uh, conversation today. That's going to be coming up in a couple of weeks. I think Tim will have more to say about that as we get closer to the end. But again, just as a reminder, what most people do is is they realize that there's a kind of a gap there when you're looking at just the original Medicare with just that A and B without doing something along the lines of the, uh, you know, as I said before, the part C. So the next slide just shows an illustration. Uh, it's kind of basically what I was just saying that if you go into the hospital, you know, with just the original Medicare, you know, you've got a deductible and then you've got coinsurance. Coinsurance, as you're probably aware of, is a percentage. In this case, it would be 20% of whatever that cost is. The Medicare Advantage plan, you don't have that. You have a copay. Copay is a flat dollar amount. So that's the distinguishing uh, par, uh, the part of it, you know, so when you're thinking about it, um, I, but I draw your attention really to the last line, which is your out of pocket maximum On original Medicare, it's unlimited. There is no cap. All of our plans on a Medicare Advantage plan that includes the Part D 
are capped at a certain amount, depending on which plane you choose. So when we sit down and we talk to someone, Michelle or myself, or one of our broker partners and stuff, we review those kinds of things. How do you use the insurance? What makes the most sense in your situation? Are you facing any kind of surgeries coming up in the next 12 months? Those are the kinds of questions that you should be asking yourself uh, as you're kind of approaching this and making decisions on as far as your coverage goes. The next slide, and Michelle's going to do a, a much deeper dive on this than uh, than I am at this point. I'm just going to draw your attention really to two areas. Uh, bottom right is the worldwide urgent and emergency care. And then the other one is on the bottom left, which is telehealth. I think everybody understands emergency and urgent care. The difference being emergency is life-threatening, right? So if you're in Florida on vacation and you're in a car crash, you're going to go to the emergency room. You're not going to go to an urgent care facility. The telehealth was something that was really came, I think, uh, front and center for most carriers was probably when COVID started back in 2020. Uh, people were, if you remember, were uh, a little leery about leaving the house, seeing doctors and so on and so forth. So what they did is all the carriers out there have this telehealth benefit. With Univera, the, there's a, something you need to know about that, and that is you have to register for it before you can actually have access to it. And there's two ways to do that. The first way is to go online at myuniveramedicare.com forward slash telemedicine, or you can call a toll-free number, 866-692-5045. That way, if you were ever out of the area and you actually had to use that that benefit, you would have access to it. So again, I think it's extremely important for people to understand how their plans work. Uh, I know we get questions all the time. Well, what if I'm on vacation? What if this happens or what if that happens? Well, you've got some backup here again, as I said, you know, that worldwide urgent emergency care and the telehealth usually covers most situations for the people that we talk to. The last slide that I'm going to discuss today is really on the net is the uh, dental coverage. Dental coverage we added into our plans, all of our plans, not just one or two, but all of our plans, all of our Medicare Advantage plans include dental. And there's two sides to the coin. The one side is going to be the preventive. The other is going to be the comprehensive. The difference. Preventative is two cleanings, up to two cleanings per year, two office visits, and either four bite wing x-rays or a full mouth x-ray every calendar year. There's no copay or uh, associated with it if you're going to a in-network dentist. How do you find that out? Well, you can either go on our website, you can call our customer service uh, number on the back of your ID card, uh, you can come into the resource center. Um, you know, those are all ways that you can find out whether or not your dentist happens to be in the network, but let's assume for the sake of this conversation that they're not. So you go to an out-of-network dentist because you've gone to them for years and years and years, and you get your teeth cleaned and that dentist is going to charge, say, $150. The negotiated price that we have with our uh, in-network uh, providers might be 100 That other $50 would be considered balance billed to you, which means you're responsible for how you pay that other $50. The other side of that coin is the comprehensive, and that gives you up to $1,000 toward extractions, fillings, root canal, crown, partials, dentures. The only thing that's not included on the comprehensive piece is going to be implants. Now, we do have one plan, and Michelle's going to uh, take you through that uh, in a few slides, that, that actually does have some coverage toward those implants, but I'm going to let her kind of discuss it. The thing to remember here, though, is one, it's in all of our plans. Two, that comprehensive is first dollar. That doesn't mean that there's a a percentage, it's literally from dollar one, and the preventative services that you have done do not count against that $1,000 comprehensive. So that's an important distinction to make. So as you're sitting there thinking about it or you're comparing us versus someone else, maybe those are the kinds of questions that you may want to pose the uh, and think about. So I, I've taken up as much time as I can, I think, here this afternoon. Uh, there's time for questions down the road, but I'm going to hand this over to Michelle right now, and she's going to take you for the, the rest of the presentation. Thank you. Great job, Mike. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. So what we have here on this slide is hearing and vision. Um, this is a benefit that is included in all of our plans, and 
the great thing about this is that a hearing exam is zero dollar copay and a vision exam is zero dollar copay. They're both absolutely free. So please utilize them both. Um, once again, they are available on all of the plans. Um, just in case um, if someone is in need of some hearing aids, we do have two models. Uh, one is the advanced model and the other one is the premium model that um, those two hearing aids are available and the vendor that we use is True Hearing. So you would be able to get the discounted price for the hearing aids um, through our vendor. And once again, that vendor's name is True Hearing and the number is on the bottom of the screen. Um, it is 1-855-205-5519. And with our vision exam, once again, absolutely free. Please utilize it. All of our plans have an eyewear allowance. So if you are not sure of how much we are giving you, it's different per plan. Uh, please utilize our great customer service team. Uh, they can uh, or stop into 205 Park Club Lane, which is our resource center, and we will be more than happy to go over that information with you. The over-the-counter allowance. This is a great benefit. I. Um, you know, talking to everybody, I always make sure that I ask if they're using this because it's 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 wonderful. It's it's money that the plan is giving you. Um, every plan gets an allotted amount. So, for instance, the PPO plan is the plan that we have that gets thirty dollars per quarter, and all of the other plans that we offer give we give fifty dollars a quarter. This does not roll over, so please make sure that you utilize that amount of money. Um, the great thing about it for 2024 is that if you do go over that amount, you are able to pay the difference. There are a few ways that you can place the order. When you enroll with one of our plans, you're going to receive a over-the-counter catalog. And in that catalog, there are wonderful, great things, cough medicine, pain relievers, vitamins, minerals, first aid kits, um, geez, I can go on, um, compression stockings, heating pads. Um, in order to place that order, you can either go online to um, univera.conveyotcsolutions.com. You can place the order by mail, and you could do it by just calling the 800 number. There is also an app that you can download and utilize that. And again, uh, whatever products that you order, it will be delivered to your home absolutely free. Silver and Fit, that is our fitness membership that is available on all of the plans. This is absolutely free. Um, we go through Silver and Fit, like I mentioned, make sure you call them to enroll, to register. Um, that number is at the bottom of the screen. And what happens is they'll give you a pin code. You take that pin code to your fitness center and you can get a year membership absolutely free. Another great feature that Silver and Fit has for 2024 um, is that you can get sessions. Eight sessions are offered and they're personal training sessions. They're $30 per session. And once again, you can get up to eight sessions. We also have home kits, home fitness kits that are available. So you can utilize both of them. Um, some of the home fitness kits you can choose from Pilates, yoga, chair exercises, um, anything that you choose. Transportation, we offer 12 one-way trips per year with SafeRide. The number is the bottom of the screen, or once again, you can utilize our resource center and we can tell you a little bit more about this great benefit that we offer. Um, it is uh, 50 mile uh, per limit um, and it is available on the advanced plan, the value plus and the secure plan. We all also are offering mom's meals. You get two home delivered meals per day for seven days. If you are released from an inpatient hospital, uh, you've been there for an observation. 
or if you've just been discharged from skilled nursing. They are available for on the basic, the advanced plan, the value plus and the secure. Great thing about this is that they're hot meals. I heard they're delicious and UPS will deliver them right to your home. So here's the confusion that a lot of people have on the Skiddo Flex card. So what the Flex card is, is that it is a MasterCard and it has $500 on it. This Flex card is only for our PPO plan. If you do not have the PPO plan, you do not have a Flex card. If you do, what you can use this Flex card is for is for dental, vision, and hearing. So we recommend that you use the allowance that the plan benefit offers you for the dental, for vision, and the hearing. And whatever's left over, this flex card can pick up the balance, right? Which is which is wonderful. Um, please save this card if you have one. Um, we replenish it every year with the $500 so um, each year, so don't throw it away. What is new for 2024 is that we're going to add, um, you know, $100 more to that five, $500 flex card, which be which would be a total of $600. And in order for you to benefit and to earn more money is that you have to do um, some healthy activities. So for instance, um, you know, a, a diabetic, an eye exam, um, you could do a bone density screening. If you do complete some of these activities that uh, there's a different amount um, that would be loaded onto your card. If you would like some more information about this and what other activities you can do to earn some more money, please once again utilize our customer service team and the number for our customer service you will find on the back of your Univera ID card. Some new benefits that we added for 2024 is the REACH Kidney Care. And this is a health education benefit for members with chronic kidney disease. So for stage four and five, uh, this is available on all of the plans. And this is education program is, is just a, a way for a little bit information and it's to prolong the, the function of your kidneys. So it's a, it's a wonderful health education program. Um, please utilize it if need be. Once again, the rewards and incentive plan. Once again, you can earn a little bit extra money by doing some special activities, healthy activities. And once again, it is only on the flex card. It'd be loaded on the flex card and that flex card is only for the PPO plan. And now we have Vori Health. Vori Health is an independent company that offers virtual muscular skeletal health care and physical therapy services at no out-of-pocket cost for the Univera members. And it's great virtual therapy and it helps with therapy for your neck and your shoulders and your back, your hips and your knees. And when you are actually connected, you could speak to a physical therapist, dietitians are available, physicians, and health coaches are also included in your initial appointment. If you happen to be on a group plan, those members um, for a group that is also available to you. This wonderful education is, is available in therapists for you. Um, in order to get some more information about this, please contact your Univera Healthcare Account Manager. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you so much, Michelle, and thank you, Michael, for that great information on benefits and perks. Really helpful. Also, thank you to our attendees who are here listening in. Please feel free to post your questions in the Q&A section. If you're looking for that, it is a question mark icon at the top of your screen that you can click on and submit any questions you might have. We will read a few of those now. And if we don't get to your question during this portion of the presentation, there are lots of other opportunities to get them answered later on. 
in your post event survey. And as a reminder, you can always call our customer care team for assistance as well. We'll share that number in the chat and we'll post some answers to frequently asked questions in the chat as well. So you can keep an eye out there. All right, so the first question we have is about the flex card. Uh, somebody asked, can the flex rewards be used to cover costs for out of network providers? And how does one get that physical flex card? So once again, the flex card is only used um, if you have, and it's only available if you have it, uh, if you have the PPO plan. Um, so depending how you want to use it, of course, remember, if you go out of network, there might be, a, you know, a subject to an extra cost. Um, things might be a little bit higher, um, but for some more information in regards to that, you can always call our customer service team and they could help educate you. But once again, that flex card is only for the PPO plan. So you have to be on that PPO plan that we offer in order to get the flex card. Great, thank you. One other question related to that. Are the extra dollars on my flex card automatically awarded when I complete healthy activities or do I need to do something? That's a great question. No, they're automatically going to be loaded. So when we see that you complete some of those healthy activities, yeah, though that extra amount and 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 just uh it's different amounts, right? So if you're not aware of the extra activities, please, please call our customer service. Um, come into Park Club Lane, our resource center. We do have a great one page flyer that explains a lot of the activities that you can complete. And then, of course, you get a different amount of re a reward um, for each activity that you complete. Thank you. Okay, next question here is about dental. Someone asked, I have two dental plans. Can I keep both plans and use both to cover more cleanings and procedures? You can, but I don't know if it's always in your best interest. If it's a commercial plan and you're still working, then that plan's going to be primary. Medicare is going to be second. If it's the other way around, you've left your employer, but you still have the benefit. The Medicare plan would be primary and then uh, your uh, old insurance would be secondary. Did that answer your question? I hope. That's very helpful. Thank you so much. Yep. Next question here is, how do I know if my dentist or vision provider is participating? Well, as we said, you know, you can either call the customer service number on the back of your ID card. Uh, you can actually come into Park Club Lane if you'd like. Um, and I always say the most, the easiest probably way to do it is to really call the provider. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy, but um, you can just call and ask, do you still accept or do you accept Univera health insurance, you know, the, the dental? And they can tell you too, but the, to go online, you can actually go online. You can put the provider's name in. Uh, it will tell you whether they're in our network or not. Very helpful. Thank you so much, Michael. Mm -hmm. One more question here. I'm curious to know more about the silver and fit benefits. Can I use it at any gym? Can I cancel or change my membership at any time? So cancel and change it. Um, I, I would definitely ask a little bit more information about that. Um, silver and fit is the vendor that we use for our gym membership and maybe um, like for instance, if you're a snowbird and you go out of the area for a couple months of the out of the year, you are able to use your gym membership for half of the year here and half of the year, um, you know, where you are, for instance, say Florida. Um, you could you can actually call Silver and Fit um, if you have any more questions um, and they will definitely be um, there to help you with with any concerns and, and other questions that you might have. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Michelle. That's it for questions for now, and I will pass it along to Dr. Garg. Thank you, Dana. Um, um, welcome, everyone, and thank you for being uh, our members and putting your trust in us. Um, um, you know, we're going to be talking about um, in this next section on things um, related to, you know, how you can um, 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 
you know what what you can do to make healthcare a priority for yourself and um, um, you know things that we offer to help you achieve that goal. Um, so the first thing that is listed in here is you know uh, um, is the annual care visit. I think if you if you have not already done so, um, I would encourage you to call your you know primary care provider and and have a, a annual care visit scheduled. Um, you know, an annual care visit is a preventive visit where you and your provider are going to work together to create a long term plan um, to help keep you healthy. Um, you know, you may ask you, um, you know, they may ask you about your uh, disease history, your family history, your immunization history, um, and take a look at your medications. Um, um, and, um, you know, based on all that, um, you know, create a plan for you. Um, now, a wellness visit is, um, you know, fully covered uh, with zero out of pocket cost. Um, um, but sometimes, you know, um, you may uh, have a physician order like some tests um, due to your unique medical situation, and uh, there may or may not be, you know, copays uh, for for those. So that's something that really, uh, you know, should be mindful about as well. Now, what's the difference between wellness visit and a physical? Um, a physical is really a hands-on exam of your body um, to check your general health and look for any potential problems. Um, you know, this is um, um, where, um, you know, the difference between an annual visit and a physical lies. Um, so while um, a wellness visit is fully covered, a physical, um, you know, may or may not have a copay associated with it, depending on your plan. Um, now, there is another different type of visit, which is called a new to Medicare visit. If if you are in fact new to Medicare, um, then you know you can get this new to Medicare visit within the first 12 months of enrolling. Um, it's very similar to the wellness visit um, and it has no um, copay or co-shares, um, um, co-insurance with it. Now, what are the some of the things that you can expect during these visits? Um, is um, you know the um, the cancer screening things. Um, so uh, you know as you see on the screen, um, colorectal cancer screening. Chances are that you might have already gotten started on colorectal cancer screening because it's supposed to start at age 45. Um, but if you have not, then you know it would be a good uh, good time to schedule that. Um, with the help of your physician. Now, you know, there is a colonoscopy that you can get done for your uh, cancer screening for colon cancer, or, um, you know, there are certain other non-invasive or less invasive, you know, things that, that you can um, also have as an option, uh, which you can discuss with your physician uh, and uh, have your colo uh, colorectal cancer screening done with those ways as well. The other thing listed here is type 2 diabetes. Um, diabetes is, is um, you know, it's really very difficult to diagnose diabetes uh, because uh, when um, during the initial uh, phases of diabetes, um, you know, it doesn't really have a lot of symptoms, uh, so to say. So you're going to still be feeling fine, but you might still have diabetes kind of damaging, you know, those um, um, uh, different things uh, in your body or different organs in your body. Um, so it's really important to do that screening. It's done every year and uh, it really helps with, um, you know, getting ahead of diabetes so that you can control um, you know, any kind of um, um, long term complications that might arise from uncontrolled diabetes. The next, um, you know, uh, really important uh, screening that I think we um, do not necessarily think about is osteoporosis screening. Um, now, what is osteoporosis is, uh, screening is, is it's a scan to take a look at the um, um, the strength of your bones. So how weak they are, how brittle they are, how strong they are. Um, and depending on, you know, the score that you get, you might be put on some medications to make them stronger. In fact, like, you know, also be advised some uh, exercises or physical therapy visits. Um, there are several ways that you can make your bones strong. Um, um, so you want to get ahead of that. Um, just because, you know, if, if you get into any kind of, um, you know, fall or, or even if you have um, undiagnosed brittle bones, even um, 
um, something you know as uh, insignificant as uh, a slip might lead to a fracture um, just because your bones are not able to take any impact and uh, and um, you don't want to be uh, in those situations because if your bones are weak then it's going to take longer to heal and and you know it just like hampers your um, your independence but specifically for women um, you know you should visit um, you know, your OBGYN every two years where you can discuss um, about your reproductive health, um, you know, discuss your mammograms. Uh, and also if you're having any uh, issues with incontinence, uh, any kind of cervical issues. Um, and also, you know, your pap smears and cancer screenings. Um, for men, prostate cancer screening is recommended starting age 55. Um, um, and so, um, you know, it's really a good idea to discuss that with your physician, whether that's the right screening for you or not. Um, and the last thing that is listed on the slide is the immunizations. Um, immunizations um, really save lives, you know, and even if you're healthy, uh, it's really important to be up to date on these immunizations. Um, and, you know, the good news is most of these vaccines uh, have no cost share at all, so they're available to you free. Um, you know, and these may be, you know, flu vaccine, pneumonia vaccine, shingles vaccine, or COVID-19 vaccine. Um, uh, and if if you want to take a look at the full list of, you know, what, what you are, um, uh, preventive screening might look like for you, um, you know, your particular, uh, based on your particular age and race and whatnot, then you can always, you know, click on medicare.univerahealthcare.com. Now, um, you know, once you um, um, schedule that visit, what can you do to prepare for that visit to your physician's office? Um, you know, you should always, I mean, at least I tell all my patients to uh, carry all the medicines. Um, there are always, you know, surprises that, that are there sitting in your medicine cabinet. Um, so always encourage my patients to bring um, all their medicines and supplements to every visit um, so that, you know, we can reconcile them and make sure that you're on all the right medications that you should be, including the right dosages and whatnot. But also it's important to, um, you know, carry a list of questions um, just because you don't want to get out of the appointment thinking, oh, you might forgot about something and it may be an important thing. Uh, and then now you have to either like, you know, call or like, you know, wait for your next appointment and whatnot. You don't want to get into that situation. Uh, now, some of the things that are listed on this slide, um, they are um, considered what I would say, you know, uh, difficult topics to bring up with your provider. Um, and it may be related to, you know, um, shame or sometimes, you know, you're just not very comfortable. So there, these are uncomfortable topics to discuss, um, but it's really important. And I'll go, you know, into them one by one, why they're important. Um, so first of one listed up there is memory. Um, there's a difference between dementia and normal age-related memory changes. Um, and your provider has tools. They have some, you know, questionnaires which actually can help um, differentiate between what is considered normal age-related memory change versus uh, a, what could be a sign of an early dementia. Um, and um, the good news is that if you do have dementia, there are medications out there now which can delay the progression of the disease. And, um, you know, you want to get on that um, so that you can enjoy, um, you know, an independent and healthy life for as long as possible. Um, the second one listed in there is, is falls. Uh, if you are having falls, um, you know, if, if, if you have any kind of dizziness, um, any weakness, any kind of unsteadiness, um, then it's really important to bring that up. Um, falls can lead to serious injury and, you know, it can hamper your ability to live independently. Um, so it's really important to bring that up because you know, what it could be is as simple as like, you know, a side effect from one of the medication or, or um, you know, you may need certain, you know, specific exercises or physical therapy um, exercises to strengthen your lower body or to, um, you know, get your balance a little bit better uh, with strengthening your specific, you know, muscles um, in, in, in your body. Um, so um, you definitely want to bring that up if you're going through any of that. 
Uh, the next one listed in there is incontinence. Um, uh, if you can get to the bathroom in time or if you're using any kind of incontinence products, um, you know, the problem is not going to go away by itself. And it may be a sign of something, you know, bigger that's going on. Um, and also I can tell you, um, you know, practically speaking, like if you are in that situation, you are more likely to have infections um, in urine and, you know, you don't want to predispose yourself to any kind of, you know, infections because we all know how that can end up. Um, um, so, you know, it's really important to discuss such issues. Um, your provider can help you with medications and also if needed can refer you to a um, specialist so that you can get ahead of it. Um, you know, there are certain exercises um, you know, which can really help uh, control some of the incontinence, uh, but um, you know, they, they, they can really help you navigate that. Now the last one listed here is, is mental health. If um, you know, you are feeling lonely, if you're having difficulty with your thinking, with your emotions, um, you know, exam room is a very safe place. Um, and you can talk honestly about your feelings with your provider without any, um, you know, um, any kind of like fear of, um, you know, being judged. Um, so I would really encourage you um, to do that and bring those type of issues. Um, your provider can guide you to resources and, and treatment options. So how can you um, find a provider? Um, I think the most uh, easiest, the easiest thing is to go online. Uh, Medicare.univerahealthcare.com or Univera Healthcare mobile app and, um, you know, put in for whatever type of specialist that you're looking for. Uh, it could be you know, a hospital that you might be looking for or an urgent care or a particular lab that you're looking for. And that's really the easiest way to find a provider. Uh, otherwise, you can always call our customer care. Um, you know, the number is listed right up there. It's also in the back of your card um, and they can help you find, um, you know, anything, any resource that you're looking for. Now, this next slide is um, you know, really um, about care management. Um, and uh, I wanted to talk to you about, you know, this uh, wonderful care management team that we have on staff um, and it comes at no cost to you. Um, this is a team which consists of um, nurses, they are dietitians, um, social workers and um, behavioral health care managers. Um, and in some situations, physical therapists. I think we have um, about five or six physical therapists on staff as well. Um, and these people are employed by Vera, and um, you know they uh, can really help you in a variety of different ways to manage your health. Um, some of the examples of how they can help you and and you know how they help our members right now is. Um, you know, care coordination services, um, so connecting you to support you need. Um, you know, your care, care managers can work with um, your healthcare uh, experts, um, you know, your team uh, of providers and can really help uh, coordinate things between different specialities and whatnot. Um, if you have a chronic condition like, you know, diabetes or um, high cholesterol, um, you can connect with, you know, one of our dietitians um, and they can really guide you through, um, you know, dietary changes or, um, you know, any kind of other medication um, related questions that you might have. One of the other ways that um, our care managers help our members is, um, you know, complex condition management. Uh, what that means is, you know, for some reason, um, if you get diagnosed with um, a disease which is which can be life altering, something like, you know, a cancer, um, it can be really overwhelming. And um, you know, navigating care can be really uh, challenging in the beginning, at least. And you don't know which specialist is going to be the best for you, or which cancer center is going to be the best one for taking care of your particular uh, situation or your particular cancer. Um, and these, um, you know, 
um, registered nurses that we have, uh, some of them have worked in these cancer centers um, and have been on those, um, you know, uh, facilities and they can really help you navigate the the, the system uh, and connect you with all the different specialists um, um, as needed. So really like a, a high level of personal support. And last but not the least, if if you do have, um, you know, any kind of substance abuse issue, uh, any kind of mental illness um, or a disease, um, you know, we have behavioral health care managers who can help you with education, supporting you through those diseases and also can help you connect with the community resources. Now again, um, you know, the way that you can connect with your care managers is, um, you know, the number is listed in the previous slide, um, but again, I'll, I'll just, you know, put it uh, in, in the chat as well. Um, but there is also an email, case.management at the healthcare.com. Um, and that's that mailbox is, is is monitored by our care managers and they'll get back to you within 24 hours. Um, so there are a variety of ways that you can access, um, 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 you know, uh, us. Um, so there is, um, you know, the customer service option. There is, you know, of course, the online option where you you have a, either log into our app. Um, you have all those, you know, benefits. Um, and you can have, you know, all those like telehealth services with us. Uh, and if you have any questions about all of the benefits and all of the things that we discussed today, um, and you would rather prefer walking into a physical location, then we have these two offices, um, you know, the the 205 Park Lane Club, uh, Park, uh, Park Club Lane. I think uh, Mike has been, you know, um, mentioned this a couple of times in his presentation as well. And then there's this other office that we opened recently in Jamestown. Um, so you can walk into these offices and uh, they can help you answer uh, any questions that you might have about your benefits um, and um, can help you uh, with your questions. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Garg. That was super helpful. We have a couple more questions, but first I just want to let our attendees know that the recording from today's session will be available on our YouTube channel early March. Those recordings will include the Q&A portion as well. Members who registered for the event will also receive a link to the recording when it is available via email. All right, so Dr. Garg, uh, we do have a question in the chat. Is Mcara a part of Univera? I keep getting phone calls from them that I haven't answered yet. Yes, so uh, Mkera uh, is is a vendor for us, and um, they um, help us with uh, members who have um, you know a certain number of chronic conditions. So if you uh, are getting a call from them, then um, yes, you know they're part of our extended in-home care management service where um, they're going to come to your house and provide the services that you may need. Um, it's, uh, you know, nurse practitioners and physician, and they're a really, really uh, amazing, you know, resource for us, uh, kind of like, you know, uh, on the ground resource for you, um, you guys. We currently have about 2,000 members enrolled uh, under MKERA, and uh, we hear uh, excellent things about the care that they get in their house. Thank you so much. Very informative. The next question is, my doctor is retiring next year, and I don't like who they told me to start going to. I need help finding someone, but there aren't any doctors in my area who are accepting new patients. What do I do now? So that can be a really challenging, um, you know, situation to be in and quite anxiety provoking, um, actually. Um, and um, I would say, you know, the best resource is actually, you know, going back to your physician who's retiring and asking them uh, this question, um, whether they have any other suggestion um, for, um, you know, some other physician in the community who might be a better fit for you. Um, most of the times, like, you know, because it's a small community, they might be able to refer you to something or make a, you know, phone call for you uh, that might get you in with, with a with a primary care provider who is otherwise not accepting patients, um, so I would say like go that route first. Uh, but otherwise, you know, you can always call us. 
uh, and uh, we can help you um, find um, a primary care phys physician. Uh, we usually maintain a list of physicians who are accepting new patients um, and customer service gets those calls uh, all the time and helps our members uh, navigate through that. Great. I think we have time for a couple more questions. Somebody asked, I was just diagnosed with diabetes. How could the care managers help me with this? So if you just got diagnosed with diabetes, that can be really scary at the at first because um, depending on you know how bad it is, um, there's going to be a schedule uh, at which you'll be testing your blood sugars. You uh, will have to manage your supplies, your lancets, your you know blood sugar monitors, and then depending on what medications you're on, if you are on you know some injectables um, like insulin or any of these new you know, uh, uh, GLP drugs, the, uh, then, you know, it can become very overwhelming. So our care managers will um, methodically help you navigate each and every, uh, you know, question that you, you, you would have regarding this. Um, and they're trained to kind of like partner up with you and support you through this change that you might have in your life because of this new diagnosis. Not just that, you know, if you're having trouble with any kind of, um, you know, copays or getting your supplies, they they usually can, you know, make those calls for you and help you, um, you know, things sorted out. All right. Thank you so much. We've got uh, one more question here about the care managers. Are the care managers health plan employees or are they from a third party? So care managers are all um, XLS employees or Univera employees. Um, the third party that um, is is what you you know was mentioned by one of the other um, you know questioners um, um, uh, was Mkara. So Mkara is is somebody who um, we contract out with. Um, they're not necessarily care managers though. They're they're usually like you know in home providers. Perfect. Thank you so much, Dr. Garg. That's all the time we have for questions now, and I will pass it back to Tim. Thanks, Anna, Thank and you. thanks to all of our uh, our speakers and our moderators today. Um, we will be wrapping up in just a few minutes, but I first want to highlight our uh, our our website that we have available, where you can. Um, utilize to access the different information and and benefits that are available to you. Um, when you sign up for a Univera Healthcare online member account, you're going to get access to a whole bunch of different tools and resources to utilize and help you better understand and access your uh, health insurance information. So creating an online account will allow you to uh, you can pay your bills, you can view claims, there's a cost estimator tool to look up what different medical procedures and, and uh, medications will cost. You can use the find a doctor or find a dentist tool that have been that's been mentioned multiple times today. Uh, view your benefits. You can also access your digital member ID cards and download any statements or forms that you might need to print out and, and complete. Uh, many of these features are also available on our mobile app, so you can always access the app as well if you prefer to get information that way. Signing up for account really only takes a few minutes and here are the five steps that we have displayed on the screen. First off, you go to medicare.univerahealthcare.com. You click login slash register in the top right corner. Then you're going to click the option that says register and create an account. Next, you just need to complete a very short form and really all the information that you're going to need is on your member ID card. So make sure you have that handy. You'll then set a username and a password. And then the final step is verifying your email. We will send an email uh, to your email address and you just have to click verify and then you will be all set and, and good to go to utilize the website. Now, as we wrap up today, uh, we truly hope that this information has been useful and, and we really want to hear any feedback that you can provide to us. So there are going to be two opportunities for you to share some input. First, after this session, you're going to receive a post event survey to your email that will provide feedback uh, or where you can provide feedback and request any additional support from us in case you had questions that weren't answered today. Also, every year in the spring 
some of our Medicare members are randomly selected to participate in a longer satisfaction survey that asks about your experience with us as a health insurer. It also asks about your experience with health care. So questions on your ability to access care, how long you have to wait for different appointments, your rating of your doctor, et cetera. Um, now, not everyone gets the survey, but if you do, please make sure to fill it out and send it back to us. Your feedback is what guides our company on the services that we provide to our, our community. So um, I just thank you in advance. If you do get those surveys, thank you in advance for completing them and send them back, sending them back to us because it, it truly is helpful to us. And then finally, I want to do a quick call out for another event that we are hosting. We will be doing a pharmacy town hall on Thursday, February 29th. Again, we will be doing two different sessions, the first one at 10 a.m. and the second one at 1 p.m. Uh, these sessions will be all about your pharmacy benefits. So if you're interested in registering for that one, please go to www.univeraformedicare.com slash town hall. Uh, it'll be the very similar registration form to what you completed what you completed to register for today's session. Um, so please join us for that if you're interested. And that'll wrap us up. So again, thank you all for joining. We applaud all of you for taking an active interest in your health and, and taking the steps to understand how to best utilize your Medicare coverage. Thanks again, and I hope you all have a great day.